I'm a paleoclimatologist. So uh, a paleoclimatologist is a research scientist who reconstructs past climate changes and uh, tries to understand what may have caused those uh, changes. And uh, to do that, I uh, especially focused on ice cores that are drilled uh, in Antarctica. I don't all go often in Antarctica, actually. I've been only once so far. Um, it was uh, this winter, I've been spending three months there to, do, uh, to participate to a new ice core drilling project. When we were in the field doing the drilling, so the, the drilling was working 24 hours. So we were working on shift and I was working from uh, noon to four o'clock in the afternoon and then from midnight to four o'clock in the morning. So uh, in, beti in between I was trying to get some sleep. And uh, when uh, we were in the drilling tent doing the drilling, I was uh, processing the ice core, which means that I was taking care of the ice when it comes back uh, at the surface, I was logging it packing it into boxes ready to be shipped back uh, in the UK. I really like uh, in Antarctica just uh, the landscape. Uh, I've been amazed when I've been there about uh, how diverse it was actually because when you're uh, on the coast you have the icebergs, uh, the sea, the high mountains and the wildlife. And then uh, when we were in the field, it was just a very white, flat desert and it was just absolutely amazing. And especially the view uh, from the plain, uh, it was absolutely incredible. Before going to Antarctica, I thought that the hardest part would be uh, the lack of comfort and the hot uh, condition, especially uh, the temperature and the wind. Uh, but actually, once I was there, uh, I think the hardest part was really to be far from my friends and to be far from my family. And especially on Christmas Day, uh, I really, really uh, miss them uh, a lot. I was doing a lot of skiing, actually. I took some cross-country skis uh, with me uh, and so yeah, I was really trying to go skiing every day if I, it was possible. So that was really depending on the weather. Uh, it was really good first to do some exercises because it was one of the only way to actually do some exercises. But also it was just really good to go out of the camp and to go out uh, and to be on my own and not see the other people on camp. Not because I didn't want to see them, but it's just really nice sometimes to have your own uh, time and your own space. Um, well, as I said before, I think I really miss the people, uh, especially toward the end of the season. But, uh, well, of course, after two months in the field, I was starting missing as well, having a, like a proper shower in a warm place. And uh, I was also desperate to have a proper night uh, of sleep in a complete darkness, but a very long night because we were working on shift. So I was only sleeping sometime three or four hours in a row. So, yeah, I think sleeping for a long time in the dark was really something I missed a lot at the end. <laughs>